Hey, Dad. So I'm gonna try to walk through and basically just talk through um, building these things from like start to finish and kind of like how my setup looks. So these rolls here are the tape. Okay, it would be. I like to keep them in the Ziploc bags when they're not being used, um, just because. So this book is actually very important. I use it to sit on top of um, the almost finished product when I'm attaching the tape and to the fabric. Um, but I'll mention that later. So basically what we have over here is our cutting section. So with our strips of fabric that we have, and right now I just went and I bought a whole bunch of fabrics, okay? So what we do is we cut cut everything down to three inches for uh, height wise, right? So this is a single strap, not for the slim. I know the lighting's bad, um, so you can't see detail in it. It's just black. but. This is for the hybrid, so here's one strap, here's the second strap, and those are three inches long. And what's in, uh, important to note is when you're attaching, uh, so there's a difference. So if you put two, sorry, let me go over here. If you put two of these together the, for the hybrid, like I just did here, they are actually thinner or less wide than the single wide strap of the dual. You can't tell here, but because they're only a sixteenth of an inch different, but that made us change uh, the length of the horizontal strap. So the horizontal strap for the duals is two inches and what, two and one sixteenth inches, while for the hybrid, it is exactly two inches. So that's like note number one is two and sixteenth inches for the dual, two inches flat for the hybrid, okay? Um, so I do keep a video, so mainly just listen, because I know my video is everywhere here. I have another video showing the gluing process, okay? So what happens is I'm going to take all these straps individually, okay? Let me get some lighting here. I'm going to take all these straps individually, and I'm going to glue them one by one. So here, there's glue attaching, okay? And if I were to turn this around, since nothing else is attached, I can even flip them open, okay? So you can see that there's glue back in there. This is where the tape will go on this side and here, and then it'll you'll see it from this side. So you see that there's a little bit of a gap. That's because we didn't know that these were a sixteenth shorter. I'm going to try to fix that. We made about ten of these like this. Um, in the future, we're going to make the horizontal strap smaller. So I glue these, and since it's fast drying tape, you can pretty much glue them and hold them for 10 seconds. But I show in the other video that I clamp them. So I'll glue here, I'll throw them in these clamps, two clamps for each side, and then once it's dry, usually about 10 minutes after, I clamp the other side, okay? And I do the same thing. So this is what I did yesterday and in that other video. Once the fabric is glued together, now you just need to add the tape, right? So, the tape I do the same, and the gluing I do the same. So, gluing I do very thoroughly, but it, there's never like globs, okay? Which is important, but it's very thorough. Um, it's, let's say you have a thickness of half an inch for your tape, okay? Then you're gonna wanna make sure that the glue covers that full half inch of tape. And typically, I glue the fabric, not the tape, but you could almost do either or depending on how easily you can, um, how easily you can, like, handle the tape. Because the tape's very sticky. And, um, handling it is sometimes a pain. Cutting it is a big pain. So, a big thing is, um, going to be Finding out who's better at what. So Michelle is better at cutting the tape than I am. The tape's super sticky, and we have these really nice scissors that I actually bought on Amazon for you as well. And I'm gonna buy another pair for me. They are just super sharp and they work super well. Um, so she's better at cutting the tape strips, and they're really sticky. So we use toothpicks a lot as well. You'll notice that in the other video. I use toothpicks a lot, so buy some toothpicks, okay? Um, here's like some, here's a toothpick completely like covered with glue. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, what I do is I use toothpicks for two different reasons. One, we use toothpicks to handle the 
double-sided tape, like when you cut it, and then like it'll get stuck to the scissors. So you just kind of poke it with a toothpick and drag it somewhere where it's safe, where it's waiting to be attached to fabric, right? Um, and we do this all during the attachment process because we don't want just tape sitting out there, right? Uh, and then I also use the toothpicks to spread the glue. So I put glue on, apply, you know, how much you, how much you think you need, spread that around. The nice thing about toothpick, if you think you have too much, you can scrape some off, kind of scrape some off, and put it somewhere. So here's another important one. This, I have this pad. It's a cutting board pad, like a little, like, washable, flexible cutting board piece of plastic. I use this for my glue. If you, if you have enough definition and, and good lighting, you can see there's like a bunch of glue here because I wipe my glue on this. What's nice is during the process, I can wipe my glue on it and then say I put a glue on another one and I don't have enough glue. I can pick up some of my glue that I've put on the, uh, this piece of plastic and I can apply it then to the one I'm currently trying to make. So, you know, so I have this cutting board for gluing. It's really important. It, separ it kind of like gives me a space to separate where this is where glue is happening, right? Tape. We kind of set the tape on this, like in a different corner, or maybe we'll set it on the cutting board when it's done and waiting to be attached, because that kind of needs some space to kind of sit while someone's cutting it, and then someone else is grabbing it from that space and putting and gluing it to the fabric. Um, uh, and then I told you about the book. So with fabric to fabric, I clamp them. But with fabric to tape, when you glue the fabric to the tape, you can hold it there for 10 seconds, but you don't want it, but, um, that's never, like, the ideal thing. You could just attach it and then let go, but I've noticed that it doesn't stick very well in the first couple seconds. Like, you know, you don't want to just attach it and let go, because there might be spots that are not exactly, like, you know, really attached, flat, and then they're going to be, like, bubbles, and you don't want that. So, I use the book. I use a book. I have some wax paper. So, what I do is I just attach my glue, I hold it for five seconds, and then I just put it, you know, face up, like reg like how you would see it on your phone, I put it face up on the on the table, I put some wax paper over top of that, um, between the fabric and the book, and then I put the book on top. And that just kind of, like, makes me feel like it's uh, securely, it's being, like, pressured, and then it's going to dry while the book's on top, and again, then, you know, ten minutes later, uh, or less... I whip those, you know, those are done. Maybe I'll take the other side, then they're done. And then it's on to another round of grippets. So, hopefully that helps. Remember the distinction between the horizontal lengths, okay, between the hybrid and the dual, that's very important, because um, they are different. Uh, glue, you know, lavishly or whatever, and, you know, um, and that's about it. With the tools you have, it should be good. You're good to go. Um, what I do, typically, what's been happening, is fa it's fabric one day, tape another day. That's not the best way to go about it, but it's worked so far. So I'll make, like, 50, I'll, like, glue, like, 50 together, fabric to fabric, one day. The next day, I'll take those same 50, glue them all together, um, glue them all to the tape. You know, maybe you can put those processes in one day. Either way you do it, I would wait 24 hours after when you're finished finished I would wait 24 hours um, to put them in the sleeves really at some point we'd want it all in one day all in one all in a couple minutes it would go from start to finish I kind of break it up um, but then yeah once you're finished you just kind of wait and then you do that we talked about like the double sided tape thing to get the alcohol swab and uh, grip it kind of positioned in the in the packaging properly so um, other than that that should be that should be pretty much it. Um, to keep them together, I've been putting clothes pin ties on them. So here's like a stack of them. Um, oh, I want I want 300 from you if you think you can do it. I want 100 of each. 100 slims, 100 duels, and 100 hybrids. It would be amazing if you guys could do that. Just so you know, I'm asking, that's a lot, but I'm going to be, so you guys are going to be making 300, I hope. I'm going to be making six to 700. So, you know, maybe I'll ask you to even make more if you guys 
end up killing the 300 quickly or something. So, um, yeah. So make 100 of each to start. I want to make, for the, th for the order of 1,000, I'm going to do 400 duels, 300 hybrids, 300 slims. Um, and what you should do is once you've made all that you can make, once you feel like, yeah, we made like 300, you know, um, send them up to me. Send them up to me. Or maybe I'll give you an address to send them to. Um, if we're running low on time or something. But, cool. Yeah. Um, he wants these as soon as possible. My, I'm trying to get a thousand by May, like, 5th. He want, he, he mentioned May 1st. It would be ideal. That's in 11 days, so I don't know if we can do that, but you can try. Um, I'm going for like May 5th, May 10th at the latest. I want 1,000, so let's see what we can do. Cool. All right. Peace out.